Now that we have activated our forms integration, it's time to create our first form connection. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna using contact form 7 and an external webhook to receive the submission. Go to simply static forms and create a new form connection. We give it a name. In our case, it's just contact form 1. And now we can follow up the setup with it. First off, we're gonna have to decide where our WordPress installation is located. Depending on the fact that your WordPress website is either hosted somewhere online or you use local WP or another local environment, the settings might change. Choose local WP. You will notice that Simply Static will pre-configure a couple of settings for you. The first one is what do you want to use for your form? Because of the fact that we're using local WP, we can't embed the form. We have to use an external webhook to receive and further process the form submission. So webhook is pre-configured. As mentioned earlier, we're using contact form 7. So what we are gonna need to do now is we have to find the form ID. So switch back to your front end. And I created an example contact page and embedded a contact form 7 form. Open the inspector controls. You will find the form of contact form 7 embedded with a class WPCF7-form. What we are looking for is not the form tag, but the div tag that is wrapping the entire marker of, of contact form 7. This div has a class called WPCF7 and it also includes a unique ID and that's the ID we are looking for. So copy the value and go back to your admin area. Add the form ID and scroll down a bit. Next up we need a webhook to receive the form submission. In our case we're using Formspree because it's the easiest and they offer a generous free tier. So switch back to Formspree and create an account. Once done you will land in your dashboard. From here click create form, give it a name, in our case we name it exactly the same as our form connection and choose an email address to send the form submissions to. Click create form. You can completely ignore the code examples because we're still creating our forms with our desired form plugin. All we need to do is copy the form endpoint. Now switch back to your admin area and add the form webhook URL. We're not going to be customizing the feedback right now, but feel free to change the messaging to better suit your needs. We're also not going to be using a redirect URL. If you want to do it, enable the option and add the URL the user should be redirected to after submission. Now publish the connection. We can now test our form, but before we're doing that, we need to update the form configuration which is automatically done behind the scenes after another export. So switch to Simply Static Generate and click the Generate Static Files button. The export is finished now and we can test our form. So switch to your static website. In our case, it's located in a subdirectory, mywp local slash static and we are on the contact page. Let's fill out our form. Click the submit button. As you can see the form was sent successfully with our configured message. Let's quickly double check that we received the form submission in form spree. Go back to your dashboard and we received a new submission. Click on the Submissions tab and you will see that there is a new submission 
coming from contact form 7 with our filled out details. That's all you need to do to receive form submissions created with contact form 7 as a plugin connected with form 3 on your static website.